Thailand has placed an order for acquiring two F-35 fighter jets from the United States. Although it is up to the US Congress whether they want to approve the sale to Thailand. Even the Royal Thai Air Force Commander-in-Chief, he is skeptical and he isn't sure whether the US Congress would approve the deal. As you may know, F-35 comes in three variants, A, B and C. The F-35B entered service with the US Marine Corps in July 2015, followed by the US Air Force F-35A in August 2016 and the US Navy F-35C in February 2019. Thailand wants F-35A variant. The F-35 is the most ambitious and costliest weapons project in the world so far. It is used by three branches of the United States military and 15 other ally countries who are also part of the NATO alliance. The cost of single F-35A unit is around 100 to 120 million dollars. That's actually not a bad price for a fifth generation fighter jet. However, the cost of flying this aircraft for one hour is around 35 to 40 thousand dollar. Now this is where any country's air force can bleed money like anything. Even the United States Air Force admits that the F-35 fighter jets have high operating cost. You will notice all F-35 planes have only one pilot seat. And the reason behind that is, F-35 is a fifth generation stealth fighter jet. Usually in a two-seater plane, the guy in the back, his primary job is to relieve the workload on the pilot so that the pilot can execute the mission. Now, because of modern computing systems, multifunction displays, high-tech hardware and software, fighter jets have become more sophisticated. These fifth generation stealth fighter aircrafts can not only find targets, they can also do thousands of other jobs which the guy in the back used to do. Everything is being taken care by supercomputers that allows the pilot to know everything and react to situations with correct move much faster than the guy in the back could do. These jets can accomplish major missions by putting only one pilot at risk. So that is the reason you will find most of the 5th generation stealth fighter aircraft will only have one seat. Now Thailand wants two F-35 variant A, which is estimated to cost around 200 million dollar or 7.4 billion baht, which is Thai currency. The Royal Thailand Air Force currently operates a fleet of F-16, F-5 and Swedish JS-39 Gripen. Most of Thailand's fighter jets are old or about to reach the expiry date. The opposition political parties in Thailand and ordinary citizen, they believe that it is a wasteful spending because the country is suffering from socio-economic problems. Now personally, I don't know why Thailand ordered two F-35. First of all, it's expensive and then only two aircraft. I don't know what Thailand would achieve with that. Probably it can get the title of being the second Southeast Asian country after Singapore to have a stealth fighter aircraft. Singapore is going to get F-35 in 2026, United States has approved. So anyhow, Thailand would only get the title of being the second Southeast Asian country after Singapore. Other than that, I personally do not see any point for Thailand to acquire these expensive jets as of now. Even if you look at Thailand's Air Chief Marshal's comment, even he doesn't seem very hopeful about United States Congress approving this deal. And again, there are a couple of reasons why United States will not sell F-35 to Thailand. The first reason is, Thailand also purchases weapons and other military equipment from China. In fact, recently in the month of August, the Chinese Air Force has sent fighter jets and bombers to Thailand for a joint exercise with Thai military. So does it make sense from any angle that United States is going to sell one of its state-of-the-art stealth fighter jet to a country who also purchases weapons from China? You also have to understand one more thing. China has a dense and diverse air defense network and they also have a highly advanced air force with fully operational stealth fighter jets. Even the United States is aware of it. And United States Navy does not even dare to go anywhere close to China's anti-access area denial shield. The whole region of South China Sea is actually a home advantage for China. China and North Korea, both the countries have ballistic missiles that can easily take out United States and Australian naval assets. There is something called the island chain strategy. There is this first island chain and then there is second island chain. So both China and North Korea have the offensive capability to take out United States and Australian naval assets in the first and second island chain region. In fact, they can also target US island of Guam. And then China also has anti-stealth YLC-80 radar. They also have J-20 stealth fighter jets along with many other networks of land, air and sea based defense systems that helps China to detect and target any medium and high altitude or long range aircraft as well as ships. Do you think United States is going to give its stealth aircraft to Thailand, where it has high possibility of getting detected by China's anti-stealth radar system? 
Obviously, before selling any kind of military equipment, the United States will send a team to Thailand to assess their air capabilities. Only then any decision will be taken. However, I don't think United States will approve the sale. In fact, even South Korea and Japan have F-35 aircrafts. But then you also know that these two countries have US military bases that oversees all kinds of military operations that needs to be carried out against China and North Korea. And currently there are no US military base in Thailand. So I don't think United States is going to leave it up to the Royal Thai Air Force for flying F-35 jets. Apart from that, it will be difficult for Thailand's Air Force to sustain this world's most advanced fighter aircraft because it is very expensive. Anyhow, so this was a short video. I hope you find it informative. Thank you for watching it.